assalamu alaikum students i welcome you for this week's first lecture which is based on paper 1 section 2 as you all know that paper 1 is writing paper and section composition now in composition you have been given a choice out of five topics to write on one topic but here the word limit is quite big it's from 350 to 550 words this is how this um, part of the paper is said the first topic is a descriptive writing next two topics are argumentative essays and last two topics are narrative writing last time i talked about narrative writing and this time my focus is argumentative essay let's have a look on the question given in this paper would you like to would you like to prefer to live in the center of a busy city or in a quiet neighborhood question mark give reason and examples to support your view you have been asked you have been given a choice to live either in a busy city or in a quiet neighborhood and out of two you are going to choose one side and you are going to give reasons to support your views and examples as well next question is what are the arguments for and against space travel to other planets so this is about space travel give reasons and examples to support your view the students remember that whenever you have an aim to write an argumentative essay and you are given two choices for essay so please be little patient look at both topics and think that which is the topic where you have ample material and out of two sides which side you can write on now first of all we'll discuss that what is an argumentative essay it is actually a type of writing where you are giving your position or stance on a specific topic you are telling that whether you are going in favor of topic or you are going against the topic so it is actually a debatable topic which is always given to you in the form of a question you are asked which side to go on so actually a good argumentative essay's goal is to convince your reader that whatever your position is that is right and you are going to prove that position with logical and ethical reasons examples some quotations some facts some figure and you are going to make your point a right point so definitely such essay needs a very careful planning done let's have a look at how a, how a top scoring essay done the first and foremost thing is to plan please before writing anything plan your work look at the thesis statement what is the actual question underline the keywords and then think carefully that which side you are going to write on arguments your arguments have arguments have to be strong they have to be logical they have to be sensible and convincing and they should show that what side you are going on what is your position which side are you on your paragraphs should be correctly made and your expression is good your counter arguments are strong now you know that counter arguments are actually the answers to other sides of uh, other sides of points like if you are in favor of topic so you will be discussing the other side as well then definitely a conclusion has to be strong and you are going to again sum up the sum up your points and editing your reviewing of your work now for writing a good essay i would introduce bam strategy now what is bam strategy b stand for background to grip reader and what is this background this is a background which is given by your facts your observations your quotations and you are giving them with strong rhetorical questions a stand for your arguments that what are your logical arguments please give sensible reason convincing reasons and your main points main points are actually going to be ideal in five paragraphs the first paragraph is your introductory paragraph then in next paragraph you are going to give your logical arguments your strong reasons to convince your right your side 
and one point you are going to talk about the other side you are going to give counter arguments you are going to talk about the other side's argument to show your reader that you know their side as well and you have strong reasons to contradict them and then at the end you are going to come up to your point again and you are going to conclude your essay with your side so this is bam strategy now when we talk about paragraphing and expressions so paragraphing they actually play a very very important role in an argumentative essay each paragraph will definitely set a point for you and for having a proper structure of paragraph please look at this p word p for point what is the point your paragraph is going to make what is the head argument of this and what evidences are you going to give to support it the point which you have made what are the facts to support it is there any example some statistics data or some factual thing to make your point then e for elaboration you are explaining on that particular point properly you are supporting it and l for link that you have good linking devices to create a good whole of that paragraph and when you are moving from paragraph to paragraph again you need to create a link you are going to have such transitional phrases like furthermore in addition moreover etc which will definitely create a link between your essays you can use some such signpost phrases like this shows us that this reflects us this can help us to conclude which will definitely be summing up your uh, argument for a certain paragraph now conclusion conclusion we have talked about already now for the mark scheme quickly we'll be going through it as you know that 15 marks are for the task fulfillment that you have very well understood the purpose of your writing you know the question statement very well and you have addressed it properly you have known the specific um, situation and audience you know that what text type you have to choose like argumentative as it is a different type of writing you know that what are the requirements of it you have developed all the points in detail you have amplified and well organized your arguments you have given good information and you have used to justify personal opinion and interpretation your tone and register is entirely appropriate Now remaining 15 marks are for your language, and you already know that your language has to be highly accurate. Your sentence structures they need to be varied, simple compound, complex sentences. Your verb forms are correct, your tenses are correct, your vocabulary is good, your punctuation accurate and helpful, your spellings are good, and your paragraphs have unity, and we have used linking devices. so i am sure that you have now a good idea how to write a good argumentative essay and already you have had a practical uh, practice of it in your classroom when we had debate competition uh, so please uh, have hand on it and uh, try hand on any one of the topic given to and uh, i hope that i'll be getting good responses well done to those who have done their work i have seen them and i appreciate their effort bye bye next lecture uh, allah hafiz and have good day.